I'm Miss Yi, and this is Mr. Mr. Height, and we're here to show you how to play Electron Configuration Battleship. So. With this game, we have game boards, and we've, they're really cheap because I made them by hand. Um, but the game board has two identical periodic tables, just like a game board on Battleship has two grid boards. Is that what they're called, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so with Battleship, you have different types of vessels. Okay, we have a carrier ship, a battleship, a cruiser, a submarine, and a destroyer. Each of those ships are different sizes, and so they take up different um, volumes on the on the playboard. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> playboard board. They take up different amounts of space. Oh, that's space. I said volumes. Okay, that, that is the amount of space. Too. Okay, so um, with our version of it, each ship is going to take up a specific number of element blocks on the table. Uh, when you draw them, you can put them anywhere on the periodic table. For our purposes, we're going to keep them out of our F block, which is that bottom chunk on the table. Um, it's kept separate right here. So for our purposes, we're going to omit this F block. Okay. Also, when we draw our ships, we will keep them only horizontal or vertical, not diagonal. Um, and I like to do it on like my own ships on the bottom player board. Okay, and that way your top ship is for the other person. So you secretly draw your own ships, that way the other, your opponent does not know what, you, where your ships are, what the location of your ships are. And on my board, I don't know about what Mr. Height did, I have labeled my ships, because I, I always forget which one is uh, which we have ship. To, yeah, we have to uh, make sure we know that, don't okay. we? So they're all different um, sizes. Uh, there's instructions at the end of the video that will tell you exactly how many elements are in each ship, so you know, um, how to play it properly. And then it also has more step-by-step -step instructions than uh, what we might show. So once you've drawn your own ships at the bottom of your player board, you can start by calling or picking it whoever's gonna go first and whoever is first for your team is going to have to call out the electron configuration for one element that they think might be on one of your ships. So if I think that oxygen is a ship that Mr. Height might have drawn, I'm going to yell out the electron configuration for oxygen. After I've yelled that out, he's going to have to tell me or ask me whether or not I meant to choose oxygen. If so, we're good. If not, we need to figure out whether I understand the electron configuration properly or whether he does, and we'll correct each other appropriately. If oxygen is one of his ships, he'll say hit and tell me which type of ship so I can mark it off on my like opponent's side of my leaderboard, or my uh, game board. Oh, that's so messed up. Um, and if it's a miss, then I'm gonna have to mark it off, say don't guess that again, okay? So the way that I like to mark them is with O's and X's, and you'll see us in, while, while we're playing this, kind of see that in action. Um, O's I will use for hits, X's I'll use for misses, and also if he guesses one of mine and hits, one of my ships, I put an X over the element on my side of the board, so I know that he's already um, kind of hit that part of the ship. Uh, once all squares on any of the ships have been hit, your ship has been sunk. And so whoever is the first to sink somebody else's ship wins the game. Ready to play? Sure, yeah. Do you have anything to add? <laughs> um, not much, really. I just kind of like messed up a little bit, so I scratch one line out. But, um, down there at the bottom, didn't want to do that. That'd be a really mean placement, by the way. <laughs> so if you do want to do that when you're playing it, put something down there in that bottom area, especially at the F block, if they don't, if they say, you know, can't, that you can use it. Or use this one over here, or any of these if you have them, because uh, that's a lot to say, and no one's going to guess it because they're not going to want to. Right. Um, so anyways, but yeah, pretty much the same thing, generals, battleship. I like using two different colors, but I'll do the X's and O's, just so we can see how that goes. You have the... Uh, Right. Um, that and I always do a little cheat sheet at the top too, so I don't forget which order things go in when I'm saying it. So you got the 1S, then 2S, then 2P, 3S, 3P, 4S, 3D, and so on and so forth. And that way it kind of helps me see it as I go through and I'll get confused about it later. So uh, I guess we'll just let him, Miss Yee here go first and okay. uh, let her take the first shot. And I'm going to go ahead and just choose oxygen since that was our <laughs> example earlier. So Darn. for oxygen, I'm going to say 1S2, 2S2. 2p4. And that is a hit. Ooh. That is a hit so and it's a hit off. on my cruiser. Ooh, so I'm going to believe... mark off oxygen on here. So I put the X there because she hit me. I put a C for cruiser so I know it's a cruiser. All right, so you so... got three elements around there. Okay. Now, 
To prevent people from hogging all of the time playing, we alternate whether or not you won the last um, guess. So even though I did hit his ship, his turn is still next, not mine. Yeah, so you just take one shot. We al yeah. alter alternate every time. So if it's my turn, I'm going to guess Nell. Now, you're not supposed to tell them Nell may guess. You're just supposed to kind of go off saying, so 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P4. That is a miss. That is a miss. And what was I shooting at? That was sulfur. That was right? sulfur, yes. yes. So if it's a miss, you're going to put a little circle. And my circles are horrible. That's why I just use two col oh. colors typically. But that's okay. So I've I missed. Using, I got a circle. I've been using circles for hits. Oh, my hits are X's. Okay. So you don't have to use <laughs> yeah. the same notation. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> As long as you know if it's a hit or a miss, that's really what matters. Yes. Okay. Um, <coughs> 1S2, 2S2, 2P5. That is a hit. What, is, what element was it? You were shooting at fluorine. Yes. Okay. So, so now there is blood in the water. So typically <laughs> when you play Battleship and you get two hits in a row, you have an idea of the how this is laid out. So you have a better idea of what your next shot should be. I'm still shooting you know, just in the right. water here. Um, um, I have one more question. Was that part of your cruiser or was that part of another ship? Oh, see, that's a good question. I was going to try not to tell you <laughs> that. But um, yes, that was part of my cruiser. Okay. Um, so my next shot's going to be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S1. That is sodium? Sodium. That yes, is sodium. that is a hit. That is a hit. And that was on my carrier. Oh, I got the big boy first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a hit, but it's still her turn, so. Okay, oh, now I'm torn. So let's try 1S2, 2S2, 2P3. Yes, that is a miss. Ah, okay, well, so I know which one it is next. <laughs> exactly, so you know what, see, you have to tell her what it is. So she knows it's my cruiser, she knows it only takes up three spaces. She has two hits, one miss on the other side, so the only other possible hit, so I know what shot she's taking next. <laughs> but um, still, she has to waste the shots to take it. Missy always so, wins. <laughs> she thinks she does. Um, <laughs> So 1S2, one 2S1. Two, two one. Are you going for lithium? I'm going for lithium. That is a hit. Of course it is. <laughs> so I got two hits in a row, and I know and I'm still on that carrier. carrier. Mm -hmm. So now I know how her carrier is laid out. So I hit my carrier. <laughs> now if only I can see the video and know where the rest of her ships were. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, so my next shot is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. And that is neon, and Correct. that is a hit, and you have sunk my carrier, or sunk. cruiser. Cruiser. Yes, Yeah. cruiser. Cruiser has sunk three cruiser. slots. Yay! So you got a submarine, though. <laughs> do you oh. want to keep playing and see if we can get some, yeah, let's maybe see, some let's see how far we less go. goofy um, footage? <laughs> I'm going to do some uh, 1S1 at the hydrogen. Well, you're supposed to tell me, and I was supposed yeah. to say yes. Hydrogen, but that is a... Miss. That is a miss. So now I know the next two shots, well, three shots really take to get that carrier down. Okay, um, I'm going to guess 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2. That is a miss. You're looking at calcium. I am. Calcium is a miss. Uh -oh. All right. Well, it's actually really not too important to even use two different symbols if you don't want to, because if you do mark one thing on your ship, you know it's a hit. If you mark something in the water, you know it's a mess. Um, but that being said, another good strategy to use, so I'm looking here at her carrier, which I know is going to be from lithium all the way down to cesium, and I'm not going to finish it off. I'm going to start looking for her other ships while I'm doing that. So we're going to go 1S2, 2S2, 2P3. And that's going to be at... That is at nitrogen, and that is, is also a, a hit. That's also a hit. And what did I hit <laughs> On there? my submarine. On your submarine. So now, so now I got two sub. birds in the water. <laughs> okay, um, what about 1S1? 1S1, is that, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. You're looking at hydrogen, and that is a hit. Yes. Okay, and which ship? Oh, that is my uh, submarine. Ooh, sub. Trying to be sneaky there. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. We got a sub here. So I'm going to do 1S2, 2S2, 2P4. Oxygen? Oxygen. That is a miss. That is a miss. Valuable information. <laughs> term, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so 
What about 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1? That is it. Which element? Sodium. Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take out 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Carbon? Carbon. That is a hit. That's a hit. Okay. Um, 1s2, 2s1. That is a hit, <laughs> and you have sunk my submarine. So, I sunk your submarine with lithium, right? With lithium, yes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and sink your submarine as well. Uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Yes, that is boron and it is a hit. That is boron and a hit. So, you have sunk my submarine. So, Mr. Height and I have each sunk one of each other's ship. Or actually, she has one more hit. She has one more hit than me. I only got two hits on that carrier and I know oh, where the carrier yeah. is. So, don't forget that. Yes. So, we did have the equivalent number of hits. Um, I sunk two of his smaller ships. He sunk one of my smaller ships and did have hits on my largest ship, the carrier. Um, so the game, I really, you can see who sinks the most number of ships oh. in the, the certain amount of time. You can see who sinks the first ship, who sinks the biggest ship, whatever. Um, so the game's really flexible that way. Um, it's been really fun for us. I learned this in college and kind of created it so that way my kids could use it in class. And uh, last year, everybody loved it. I had my physics kids this year that had me for chemistry last year begging to come in so they could play the game. So that was really, really a good feeling for me. So I'm hoping that everybody who tries this game really enjoys it and that it helps kind of make electron configuration fun and more concrete in your understanding. Um, the game board, again, is something really simple to put together. In order to be able to reuse them, I use Expo markers on laminated periodic tables, and I just have them stapled to manila envelopes. But whichever way that you would prefer to make your own board, you can do that as well. Um, we, again, we'll have more detailed instructions and an introduction um, at the end of this video. Thank you.